Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Makes a Bit of a Mess of Factorio Space Exploration. Uh, so things have um, been going, um, although in places not so not going brilliantly. So in, after the last episode I decided it was time to um, start updating, bringing everything over to LTN so that I can, because I found that the trains that were coming into my um, drop-off uh, station up here were bringing in, and by the time they brought in any copper, it would get unloaded in one go straight into this chest, and then that was it. There was, uh, and then by the time it got back to the uh, to the pickup station, it it was empty, and need, uh, this chest was empty, and so the train needed to come back almost immediately. So it just wasn't really working for me. So I thought, well, let's bump the volumes up a little bit, and we'll stick in, start using LTN. Now LTN does let you have multiple things coming out of a single station, which is quite nice. So for here, for example, we've got um, the uh, what are these called? The, the subst not substrate, the, the core subst substrate things for the memory cards being brought in, and red circuits, and copper, and cryonite. And so when a train turns up, a stack inserter will unload the appropriate thing, and then we've got the various signals on here saying what we don't have enough of. And at the moment, we don't have enough copper, and we don't have enough um, cosmic water. So those are going to be, in theory, are going to be brought over. It does take a little while to unload a, 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 a wagon with a single inserter, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic there's going to be some more um, stack inserter bonus things available relatively soon. So that one, what do we get? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Where, I don't know how we get number eight of these, but that's that's going to take the uh, the tier two orange things. So so that's not quite not not quite there yet, but not too far off. And also down here, I've, I've started using LTN. So this is an LTN station for picking up the bio sludge. This is probably, I was going to say this is an LTN station for the dropping off the vulcanite, but then we've also got this um, uh, doohickey combinator in, in here, arithmetic com decider combinator in here. And I don't know what that's doing there, so I'm going to need to do a little bit of thinking about that and a bit of debugging. So, <laughs> and now we get to the um, the terrible, terrible part. So, as part of turning this into over, or switching all of this over to LTN, I had, I needed to put some stations in for the. Um, in fact, let's just fly over there. I needed to put some stations in for the um, the depot, which went fine, um, but also for the lo unloading of all the spaceports. And this is absolutely horrible. I feel kind of ashamed about it. By it, really. Um, not only because it's an absolute mess just looking at it um there's all kinds of things in here that the the, the, the rail layout is it look is, is horrendously ugly um there wasn't room over here to put in all of the um the power poles to get to power all of these inserters so some of them are unpowered just generally it's all a bit wrong and even worse than that not only does it look bad it doesn't even work I had a, a case where there was a train coming in, I think possibly trying to get low density structures, I don't remember, but it was, it was something like this. So the train came in, this is the station for low density structures, so if the train parks there, you get the locomotive and then behind it you get the wagon and it should load up, except the train came in and parked across here and stopped at the station, so the, the wagon was here and the inserters couldn't reach it. So not only is it horrendously ugly, it doesn't even work. So this is all going to need to be pulled up and and replaced with something that is a bit less terrible. Now exactly how I'm going to do that, I'm, I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I think I'm probably going to just have to have rows of maybe two or three, or if I took out every other one of these or something like that. I don't, yeah, I don't really know. I haven't decided yet. I do need some sort of system that allows, well, in fact what I need to do is I need to set up the stations like these ones. So there is only one way to get into the station. And we can have these crossovers to make it a bit more compact. That's absolutely fine. Um, but we can't have then another rail going across here and another station in the middle of here because that just, as we've shown over here, that just doesn't work. I did consider not having the bypass light lanes at all and just having all the trains go up the same line. But it takes a while to load up a wagon up even with the full six inserters going on it at it and so if we've if for example the first train needed coal and then the second train needed iron and the third train needed copper then it would just take forever because you'd have to wait for this one to get out of the way before the second one could get in and then for them both to get out of the way before the third one could get in yeah, just, yeah that would just be even worse so all of this is going to have to get torn up again and and replaced <laughs> and that's going to be a big job it would it wouldn't be so bad 
except that this contains 25,000 coal, this contains 51,000 iron, this contains 51,000 copper and so on. There is enormous amounts of resources held in all of these landing pads and because I've changed how I'm doing all of the infrastructure around it, it's kind of complicated and massively faffy. So this is going to be interesting to redesign, um, but I guess I'm just going to have to get on with it and see, and see what I can do. Other than that, the basic idea is is going okay. I need more trains in here. What, what I've got here is I've got the standard drop-off station where uh, this station requests coal, a train turns up, fills, it with, it fills this chest with coal, the coal's pumped gradually round here and we've got all these inserters unloading it. That's absolutely fine. That, 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 that works, no problem. Um, now, what, what the thing that means, that the reason that this does work at all um, with this sort of design is because a wagon is actually slightly smaller than a chest Despite, the, despite appearances. I think these chests must go down to the ground or something. It's the only, only possible explanation. So you can have um, one chest unloading and as long as you're not getting, to, getting it calling for more until it's practically empty, it just works. And that's why all of these numbers are relatively small. We've got sort of minus 500, minus 600 or minus 200. It should be sort of one or two stacks. Now in some of the cases that's a bit more than that. That's five or six stacks. But these take 48. These are 48 stacks. And the cargo wagons are 40 stacks, I think. Yes. <clears throat> so as long as you have at least no, as long as you have no more than eight stacks of whatever in the chest when the train turns up, it's going to be able to unload quite happily. So the LTN basic idea is is absolutely fine. Um, it's just this thing here that is a horrific matter. There we go. That is exactly what I'm talking about. The trains just do that when they're trying to pick up the low density structures. So they then just sit there until they time out. They don't pick up any low density structures and it's all useless. Now, given that I've only got two trains whiffling around at the moment, it probably doesn't matter and I could perfectly well just get rid of all of the uh, the second and third rows here, or at least the middle rows, and just leave the outer bypass. And it will probably be okay. Um, but to be honest, the whole thing... <laughs> there we go again. The whole thing just needs redesigning, so I'm, I, I think I'm going, I'm going to do that. Um, other than that, I've not made a huge amount of progress because I was I was building all of this up, <laughs> which is a complete waste of time. I have pulled up the um, the long pipe that was going all the way across here, and the long belt that was going all the way from from here. Um, and at some point, relatively soon, I'll stick in another LTN station, maybe another have to be another two LTN stations because you can't have a you can't have a pickup station. Let me make sure I get this logic correct. You can't, yeah, you can't share pickup stations um, because you can't tell the uh, inserter what to insert, what whether to insert or, not, or at least not not trivially. So I think it's going to be easier and safer to build two stations along here, one like that, one like that, and then we'll just feed down three stations. Sorry, so maybe a third one on 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 here on this spur that might work um, and then because we're going to have three outputs from this as well so we're going to have the stone the iron and the copper all coming out from here and so i'm going to set those as ltn with a higher priority and that means that any that um the trains will come along here and pick up the outputs from these this system all the recycled stuff before they go off and get brand new resources so that'll prevent me from overflowing here and I'll do the same with the bio sludge here and anywhere else oh yeah this is cosmic water as well so this is going to need to be um Need, need, need exactly the same as well so all these sort of things we need to make sure we, we pull up stuff from the recycling plant before we start using new resources otherwise this will overflow and it'll back up and it'll stop but that's not going to be a problem for a while because <laughs> there's a lot of work to do before I get, even get to that point so yeah that's sort of that's where I am at the moment um, I want to I want to get this replaced before I do my next stream tomorrow because I think I'd like to be able to do the stream from a position of having, of not being, not spending the whole the whole stream just sort of tidying up all of this nonsense because that would be boring for everybody. It'd be a lot more interesting to um, to have got this sorted to the point where I can then head out and start building up actual science. We've not got any um, anything coming through here, I notice. That's because this machine, this train is running round and round and not picking up any. Um, low density structures and also I think we don't have any iridite up here another thing I need to do at some point is go down and put another is build up my iridite facility on um, the iridite Kothar I think is the iridite planet you know what I'm gonna do <laughs> let's just get no not there let's get rid of a chunk of that and then the train will at least go in the right way and stop going round and round in circles forever um, 
yeah, so I need to go out to Kothar and set up and tidy things up, get the power working again, stop it getting bombarded by meteorites, and then set up that giant um, giant processing facility for the for the erudite that I've been talking about. Um, I think that's probably going to be the next thing I need to do after sorting out the trains. Um, so that's yeah, that's probably going to, that's probably top of my to-do list. What have I got on here? Quality maybe ship resource for rocket. That's mostly done. If I put in there, what, what's left? Uh, low density structures are done. Vitamilange, yeah, Vitamilange and Iridite. There's only those two left, and I can I can put off the Vitamilange for a bit longer because I'm not doing the biological. And I don't think anything else uses Vitamilange. The Iridite is Iridite. It is yeah, Iridite is slightly more vital. Um, that's kind of done actually. Let's take that one off. It's not very mass production yet because there's only one machine doing it, but it's doing it from the new system. Mass production of mirrors is mostly done, just needs the um, iridite supply and the sorting out of the low density structures. Um, these are all reasons to go out to the planets. Expansion and oil and coal, so those are still waiting. Okay, so I'm making I'm making gradual progress on my on my to do list, um, but it is a little bit gradual. Has that been picked up yet? Yes, it has. So if we get this train to go and then come back to here. Did I just see that getting it wrong again? I think I did. All right, let's pull up this piece because that's where it gets it wrong from. <laughs> there we go. Now I'd like to go into the right place. So you see, the system sort of works, just not really. What are you doing? No, don't do that. Go back to the depot. The system sort of works. So the trains do come in. They do pick up the supply that's required. And the supplies are loaded over from the landing pad into the warehouse and into the train. So it's kind of working. Just not very well. And I could... I could sort of sidestep the whole thing and, and, and not bother fixing it just by pulling out that middle, um, those middle rails. But I don't really want to. I want to, I want to do it properly. So, I'm going to get on with that now. It's been quite a short episode because I haven't, I was going to say I haven't done much. That's not true. I've done quite a lot. It's been quite, quite, quite time consuming. It's just all been wrong. So, yeah, that's been uh, kind of terrible. Um, I'm going to try and do it again, but better. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll come back for uh, tomorrow's stream. Although by the time you see this, it will have been a long time ago. But <laughs> anyway, I, I hope you're joining me for the streams. And I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you're enjoying the videos as well. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh...